so good. I love chocolate. I love this one. I know chocolate is so good. Addie and Maya, I'm so glad you came out of town to come visit us. We are too. Trust me. We needed to get out of town for a couple days. Really? Why? The toy master has been driving us crazy. He keeps stealing all of our toys. And making us play all these ridiculous games with him. Really? Like what kind of games? It's escape room games. We're escape room games. Well, he basically locks us in a room and we can't get out until we solve all these clues and find an escape button. Oh my gosh, that sounds terrible. It is, but we should be safe here. Oh, I'll go get it. So what should we do first? Watch a movie, play a game. I vote for a game. Me too. Me too! You've got to be kidding me. Can't you leave us alone for a few days? I guess I have no choice. Girls, you gotta come over here now. What's the problem? What's, What's wrong? wrong? The toy master was on the phone and he wants us all in the living room. Oh, no. No. We have to have a seat over on the sofa, girls. What is he gonna do? Are we gonna be okay? I'm scared. Sophia, can you turn on the TV? I'm sorry guys, but you're all about to meet the toy master. Okay, here goes nothing. Nice to see you, Addie and Maya. The feeling is not mutual. And it's nice to meet you, Avery. Stella, Charlotte, and Sophia. How does he know our names? Since I know how much Addie and Maya have come to enjoy our escape room challenges, I thought it would be even more fun to have you all join in too. I like to keep things interesting though, so I'm going to break you into two separate teams. And here's the fun part. Only one team will be able to escape. What? That's not fair. Fair? Have I ever cared about being fair? Well, you can't just keep us here forever. Hmm, we'll see about that. Would you like to know your teams? I'm getting out of here! Oh, it wouldn't open! It's no use. We're locked in here until we can find that escape button. Moving on. The first team will consist of Avery, Charlotte, and Addie. You're separating me from my sister? The second team will consist of Maya, Stella, and Sophia. We've got to win girls. We can't be stuck in here forever. None of us can be stuck in here forever. We're smart girls. We can find a way around this. I know we can. Mm -hmm. She's right. I'm not leaving unless we're all leaving. Now for the rules. The first team will work in the bedroom. The second team will work in the kitchen. The door connecting the rooms will be locked. Each team works through a series of clues that will lead to an escape button. The team presses the escape button first will be released. The other team, they'll be forced to stay behind forever. Oh no! Don't panic girls, we're not gonna let that happen. So I'd say your goodbyes and make your way to your separate rooms because the game begins now. You guys, we do this. We do this. We will, we will all be together. We don't worry, Maya. We'll be fine. Okay, Addy, I believe you. Okay, we're in here, but I don't know where to start. He usually tells us where to find our first clue. Well, girls, let's just look for something out of the ordinary that doesn't really belong in a bedroom. All right. Nothing here. Hey, check these out, girls. They're Nashville postcards. Let me come check it out. Why would there be Nashville postcards if they're at the hotel here in Phoenix? That is super odd. Let me look at them. Check out the back of this one. There's a bunch of words here. These are some odd words. No, the, for, when, key, you, candy? Next, you, it, box? None of those make sense at all. Do you think we need to unscramble the words to make a sentence? I'm not sure, it's a lot of words to unscramble. Is there anything on the back of the other postcards? Not on this one, or this one. Not, wait, what's this? I don't know, why are all those holes in the paper? They're shaped like rectangles. I know, let me try something. I wonder what would happen if we put this on top of all the words. Might as well give it a try. Check it out, the boxes are highlighting some few selected words now. What does it say? 
solve this riddle for the next clue. You see me in the morning and in the... Why did it just stop? Where's the rest of the clue? I don't know, and the other postcards are blank. You see me in the morning and in the... In the what? There's gotta be something we're missing here. But what? Hey, guys, look! There's a lockbox and a calculator. Do you think it's our first clue? I'm guessing the first clue is in this box. Can we open it? The Toy Master won't make it that easy. It looks like it's locked. Well, there's a combination lock on it. How do we figure out what the combination is? So we tried just guessing some numbers. It's only three digits. I suppose so. Let's try 888. That didn't work. Let me give it a try. Today's date is January 25th, or 125. So let's see if 125 works. Ooh, that's a good thought. Oh, bummer, it didn't work. Why do you think there's a calculator here? Are we supposed to use this to open the box? It's awfully random. I have no idea. Whoa, there's a note on the back of the calculator. Laughing out loud. I'm so confused. Me too. But well, laughing out loud is the same as LOL, right? Yeah, you could write LOL for laughing out loud in text messages. LOL is three letters, but we need three numbers to solve the combination. So how's that supposed to help us? I feel like we have to use this calculator somehow, but I just don't know how. Okay, so it says solve this riddle for the next clue. You see me in the morning and in the... And then it just stops. I don't know if this means anything, but notice that there's a number one up in the top left corner. See? Oh, oh yeah. Why don't you flip it over, Addie? There's a number two. What does it say now? Evening two. And when you keep me clean, it's a reflection of you. What am I? So what do we see every morning and every night that we have to keep clean? And what does the whole reflection thing mean? I don't know. Wait a minute. My friend taught me how to write a low on the calculator one time. It's really easy. Watch. Zero, seven, seven, three, four. Then you flip the calculator over, and it says hello. Wow, it does say hello. That's a good trick and all, but how does it help us get that locked box open? Maybe there's a way to write LOL on the calculator. Remember, LOL stands for laughing out loud. Yeah, like the post-it said. Since LOL has three letters, we need three numbers to write it. And those three numbers are the combination for the lock box. Exactly! So what numbers, when read upside down, look like LOL? Well, the O is probably a zero, but what makes the L? Well, I'm thinking a seven. That could be an upside down L, right? Okay, try it, Sophia. Seven, zero, seven. Flip it over now. It worked! Okay, let's try 707 on the lock box now. It worked! We did it! And there's a note inside. Let's see what it says. Unless you want to hear my growls, you better replace the paper towels. I don't know about you, but I don't want to hear the Toy Master's growls. Me neither. Let's go find the paper towels. Solve this riddle for the next clue. You see me in the morning and in evening too. And when you keep me clean, it's a reflection of you. What am I? Hmm, what could it be? I think I got it, it's a mirror. Yeah, you see it every morning and every evening when you brush your teeth. Yeah. And when you keep it clean, you see a reflection in it. There's a mirror in the bathroom. Let's go quickly. Whoa, check it out. Can you read this? It looks like a bunch of gibberish to me. No kidding, what does it mean? I think it's a backwards message. I've seen this before. We just need to hold it up to the mirror so we can read it. Now we can read it. The bumblebee buzz. Tall flowers grow in the garden. 
Pour water in the pail. Did the boy catch the ball? The bird flew above the tree. The fish swam in the sea. Close your eyes and make a wish. I think the toy master has officially lost it. I agree. This doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Let's say this really hard. We have to figure it out. Okay, you're right. We've got to find this escape button. So the paper towel roll is empty, but it has this weird <coughs> ribbon on it. And it looks like there's letters on the ribbon. See? Yeah, but should I take the ribbon off the paper towel roll so we can look at the letters better? I wouldn't do that. It looks like it's taped on there for a reason. Well, let's see what letters are on there then. T R B S A Y. Wait, I have an idea. What do you think would happen if we wrap the ribbon around the paper towel roll? Here, why don't we try it? And we think it's spelling something. I think you're onto something. Let's, Let's play Scrabble. Scrabble, like the board game? Yeah, I saw it over there. Did you guys know that the second B in Bumblebee is capitalized? So is the A in Tall. It looks like there's a capital letter in every line. This has to mean something. I'll read off the capital letters and you write them down, Avery. Okay, I'll find something to write with. Lipstick will work, right? Okay, first is B. B. Next is A. L and then C. O and then N. And the last one is Y. Hey, it's balcony! Let's head there next. Let's go. Wow, there's a bunch of tiles in the Scrabble game. So many letters. Yeah, but where's the clue in all this? Let's get the board. There might be a clue there. This is interesting. What is it? Let me see too. Okay, there's a bunch of pictures here and a bunch of squares down below it. So there's a flower, a raccoon, an elephant, an egg, a zipper, an envelope, and a ring. It's a lot of pictures. What does that have to do with Scrabble? And what do you think those empty squares mean? Well, first picture is a flower that begins with the letter F. So maybe we'll put an F tile below the flower. And a raccoon's next, and that starts with an R. Let's keep going, girls, and let's see what this spells. What is all this? A lock box, these M&Ms, and some words in chalk. It's so loud out here. Let's take it inside. Okay, it's a lock box, but it looks like we have to know the combination to open. It's definitely locked. And that was weird that those words were written in chalk. What did it say? Oh, red, yellow, and green. Yeah, what could have that meant? I don't know, do you think that has anything to do with the lockbox? Or was it just a coincidence that those words were out there? And what's up with this candy bowl too? It's a lot of M&M's. Ooh, I love M&M's and I could use a snack. Wait, we can't eat those, Avery. Those could be part of the clue. That's right, Avery. There's red, yellow, and green M&M's. Maybe there's, they're connected to the words in chalk. Maybe so, but how does that figure out the combination to the lockbox? Yeah, I'm not exactly sure yet. We just need a Z for zipper, girls. Let's try to find one. I found it! Z for zipper. It spells freezer. Quick, let's head to the freezer for our next clue. We need to get out of here. No, we can't do that. What about the other girls? If 
we press it, we get out. And then they're stuck in here forever. Well, I don't want them to beat us. Because then we'll be stuck in here forever. Addie wouldn't let that happen. She wouldn't leave me here. I have an idea. Follow me. Addie, can you hear me? Addie, do you guys hear Maya? I think so. I'll be back. Keep working on the clues, girls. Maya, is that you? It is. We found our speed button. Have you found yours? Not yet, but I think we're getting close. And whatever you do, don't push it. I won't. I'm thinking once you find yours, we could try and press ours at the exact same time. It'll be tricky to get the timing perfectly the same, but I think it's the best shot we have of all of us getting out of here. Okay, go find your skate button and we'll wait for you. Did you guys figure anything out? Yeah, we have an idea, Addy. Yeah, we're gonna count the number of the red, green, and yellow M&Ms. Then we're gonna try those numbers on the lockbox. That has to be it. Good work, girls. I'm getting all the M&Ms out first. I'll do the red. I'll do the yellow. And I'll do the green. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven red M&Ms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight yellow M&Ms. I have one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine green M&Ms. Okay, but what order were the colors written in in chalk? Because that's probably the order for the combination. I remember it was red, yellow, and then green. Perfect, so then the combination must be seven, eight, nine. Click Avery, put the numbers in. Seven, eight, nine. Okay, girls. Let's hope this works. I think it worked. The escape button! Quick, let's tell the other girls! Okay, I'm going to count to three and you have to hit the button at the exact same time. We can do this, Maya. I know we can. We've got this. One, two, three! I hope it worked. Did we do it? Did it work? The game is now over. Everybody quiet, it's the Toy Master. Both teams found the escape buttons, and the team that pressed their button first was... I can't believe this, but it was an exact tie. We did it! We did it! Which means you are all able to escape. this time, but you will pay for this soon. You all will.